baseball fans and welcome interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the Seattle Mariners going up against the New York Mets first pitch coming your way next so just about set now and on the hill, a soft tossing lefty, just like you, Chris, Jose Quintana. How about a scouting report on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. J.P. Crawford in the box now. Take strike one. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's 0-2. Inside just missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Next offering way off the plate. Up the middle, on the run, sends it over to first. Awesome play there. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this they come to the ballpark they know how to get down to business and they understand what the job is at hand One down, base is empty. Late with the swing there. I think he was sitting off speed there. To the right side. McNeil gets it to first. Rodriguez out of the play. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Fastball for a strike. 1 1. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Two down. Nobody on. And that skips in the dirt. Got it by him, Corey McKay. End of a half inning of play, no score. Back here in Queens, on the hill for the Mariners, Luis Castillo. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. Castillo, an all-star a season ago, 31 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. The wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air right center field. Rodriguez settles under it. Makes the catch for the out. Here's a Mets lineup now. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. 
Yeah and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back and for hitters you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you you've got this other force coming against you so important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating you just hit one on the screws think it's going to go out of the ballpark and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. That one pulled foul. The 0 2. Line drive. Fair ball. There you go. Winning run is aboard with one down. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. McNeil, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next pitch is outside. Riding to the plate. Here's a rocket to right field. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Here's Pete Alonso. And a swing and a miss there. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mountain. You can win this battle. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone one and ball. spit on anything that's down. Another ball. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. That's way outside. Three and two now. Starling Marte waiting to hit for the Mets. Three, two. And a swing and a miss. Third out. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Set for the start of the inning. So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Mitch Garver. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Quintana back to work. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. See you later. The Mariners strike first. It's 2-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat.
When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Now, Cal Raleigh. Oh. Swing and a miss. Oh, oh. Going to oh, just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. The pitch. There's the strike of the knees. Action in the Mets bullpen. Drew Smith appears to be getting loose. Lopez getting cranked up as well. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And it's fouled away. Two runs across in the inning here at the top of the second. There's a swing and a miss. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, boo. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. This one in the air right field. And that oh. will drop foul. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and two. One down, base is empty. Not even close there. Now two and two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Two two now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs. Base is empty. Luke Rayleigh now at the plate. And that one a little bit high. Two outs. Base is empty. And there's the strike. One ball, one strike. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. Ball. And another ball. Two and two. And now it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's ball four. One of the things about that two out. The base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out no, RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Fouled off left side. And the pitch. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. 
Going with a good arm behind the dish. It's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, but really good clean stolen base. He can be pretty proud of himself. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Mariners two and the Mets nothing. Back here at City Field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Way and stepping go. in for Welcome New York, back. Starling Marte. Starling Marte. The pitch to the left side, but it is well foul. Man at second. And that's in there at the knees. Got him swinging. Some really good tunnel action there. That's a picture perfect That's slider cool. to get the strikeout. That's Starts over the middle of the plate and then he dives can. hard off the outside corner. You know, he's probably thinking about the fastball he got the pitch before, and there's no way to hold up when you tunnel that well. Now it's DJ Stewart. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. And the righty deals. And now the count is even. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Andres Munoz appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. And the right hander deals. Off the mark there. Two and one. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk. Then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Got him swinging for the K. Now only one out remaining. And next for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. There, strike one. No, oh, come and one get strike. me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Oh. And that one's a little bit low. And that's ball one. Oh. A swing and a oh. miss as he chases way out of the oh. zone. The Mets down to their final strike. With the tying run at the plate, bottom half of inning number two. Next pitch inside, and the count is even two and two. It's a good take. Is the ball game? Well, a low scoring ball game. This one, two nothing game, few errors, pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.